NCERT English Class 6 Unit 1 Chapter 1 Who Did Patrick's Homework by Carol Moore Can we get into the chapter? Who Did Patrick's Homework In this lesson, before getting into the lesson, I want to ask you three interesting questions. One is that, do you like homework? I could see a number of you saying yes. Do you do it yourself or do you get help? Of course, we do it ourselves and sometimes when it is difficult, we will get the help of a parent, sister, brother, friends and so on. What homework do you usually have? Sometimes math, sometimes uh, science, sometimes English and it goes on, right? Some There was a boy by name Patrick. He never did his homework. He always says it is too boring to do the homework. Instead, he would play hockey, basketball and Nintendo. You know what is Nintendo? Nintendo is a video game. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you wouldn't learn a thing. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. What is the meaning of the word ignoramus? An ignorant person, a person without any knowledge who lacks education because he has not touched his homework and he is ignorant of whatever has been taught in class. But what could he do? He couldn't do anything because he hated to do the homework. Now this part of the story is very interesting. One day Patrick found his cat playing with a little doll. So he went and grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all. But what was it? It was a tiniest man. He had a little woolen shirt with the old fashioned breeches. Now what the word breeches mean? Breeches is nothing but breeches or short trousers. The writer here spells it for fun to rhyme with the word witches. And a high tall hat much like a witch's hat. When he saw that little man, he yelled, save me. Now what does the word yelled mean? Shouted, right? Don't give me back to that cat. The man shouted and said, Don't give me back to the cat. I'll grant you wish. You know that small people, small sized people are called as elves. Now these elves had a special uh, uh, power of uh, granting our wish. So he says, I'll grant you a wish. I promise you that. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was because what, what do you think would be the reason? The reason is that he is bored up doing the homework and now he has a slave who is going to do his homework, right? This is that small man who is going to do it because he has promised him that he will do grant his wish. So here was the answer to all his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days. The elf got very wild. If you do a good enough job, I would even get A's. That was rhyming indeed, right? So Patrick wanted to get A's without doing the homework, but he wanted the tiny man to do the homework for all the 35 days. The little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth. You know what is a dishcloth? A cloth used for washing dishes. It wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in a hamper. Hamper is nothing but a basket with a lid. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists. And he grit and he grimaced and scowled and Pursed his lips. Now what is this meaning? Grimaced and scowled. Pursed his lips. 
His face had these expression to show disgust, anger, and disapproval because the little man didn't want to do the homework. Oh, am I cursed? That was a very sad expression given by the tiniest man. But I'll do it because he has promised Patrick that he will do it. And the tiny man, has he given a promise? It, his words became true. That little elf began to do Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. Now what does the word glitch mean? It is a very informal word. A fault in a machine that prevents it from working properly. Uh, it is used here to indicate hitches and problems. Okay. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help because he didn't go to a school and he doesn't know about any homework. So every time he needed some help, help me, help me, he'd say. And Patrick would have to help in whatever way. Patrick had to help because Patrick went to school and he knows better than the elf. The elf would shout, I don't know this word. The elf squeak while speaking Patrick's while reading Patrick's homework, sweet, that is shouting from the bottom of its voice. Get me a dictionary, no, what's even better, look up the word and sound it out by each letter. Now the elf will say, get me a dictionary. Now he, he is not satisfied the, by the dictionary also. So he wanted Patrick to read letter by letter and sound the word, so he will understand it better. When it came to math, Patrick was out of luck because the elf did not know what times tables was. The elf shrieked, that is shouted, a high-pitched cry. We elves never need that, so they didn't want to know what is times tables. An addition and subtraction and division and fraction, none of this was done by the elves. Here, sit down beside me you simply must guide me so the elves wanted patrick to sit down beside him and wanted him to guide the elf doing the homework elves know nothing of human history to them it is a mystery because they haven't read anything so the little elf already a shouter just got louder because he didn't know what history is and it became a mystery so Whatever he wanted to shout, now it became more louder. So he told, go to the library, I need the books. And more and more books he wanted. And you can help me read them too. Only if he is going to read all that, he'll know what is the history. So he made Patrick go to the library, get more books and read them for the elf. As a matter of fact, now what happened every day, this elf was a nag. You know what is the meaning of nag? One who troubles someone all the time by complaining or asking them to do something or the other every minute. Patrick was working harder than ever and was, was it a drag? Now you know what is a drag? Drag is a very informal word. Something uninteresting and dull is called as a drag. He was studying up nights and never felt so weary. Was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. Now he had to study and help the elf every time overnight. So since he, he did not sleep the whole night, he went to school with his eyes all puffed and it was all blurry. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go because it, it was almost 35 days over. As for the homework, there was no more, so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. Now what is slyly? Secretively. Patrick got his A's. His classmates were very amazed. 
His teacher smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, of course, the parents were happy. They wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid. He cleaned his room. He did his work, that is his course. Now, what is course work that must be done every day, even though it is very boring? Now, since he he cleaned his room, did his course, and was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed a whole new attitude. Now, what does the word attitude mean? A feeling about someone or something is called as attitude. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he'd made the tiny man do all his homework. But I'll share a secret just between you and me. It wasn't the elf. Patrick had done it himself. Class 6, Unit 1, Chapter 1, Who Did Patrick's Homework by Carol Moore. I think the explanation was enough. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe. We'll meet in the next chapter.